Uh, good afternoon. <coughs> a National Institute for Smart Government is very much involved in a large number of e-governance projects. And when we were talking of social media in uh, e-governance, we started thinking that in a large number of our projects, we are not using uh, social media at all. And uh, is there a value for social media in e-governance projects? And we started, as we started this uh, discussion and this debate within our organization, we realized that it is all about communication. Initially, as uh, communication was a one-way communication, you would have various government departments putting up a website which informs the citizens of what are the policies, what are the, the guidelines, what are the things which they are doing in their particular area of uh, influence. And gradually, they started taking feedback from citizens and we find these days a lot of various mechanisms coming for taking citizen feedback uh, uh, electronically. But I think what uh, social media does is not just a two-way communication as Nirmala ji was mentioning earlier. It is, uh, if you just want a two-way communication, a question and answer, it can be done either through emails, it can be done through a call center or so many other uh, methods which are there. But I think social media brings in a, a collective discussion forum. What happens is, supposing you have the MCT site and somebody asks a question on a particular topic and the person from MCT replies to that, it is not just a two-way communication between that individual and uh, the person who asked the question and MCD, but all the people who are on that site, all the people who are on that, say, Facebook, uh, who are a part of that, are able to know what question was asked, are able to know what answer was given, and therefore there can be follow-up questions because it starts spreading the whole thing through viral marketing. And that is, I think, what the entire benefit of... Uh, social media is. It spreads like viral marketing which is far more pervasive than any one-to-one -one communication like emails or call centers etc. because even people start realizing what kind of interaction is going on and they see value in that interaction more and more people join and that viral marketing effect takes on and soon you have thousands, millions of people joining a particular uh, social media group and are able to have a community discussion which benefits a larger number of population. So we find that uh, in a large number of communication and uh, information flow across, social media can play a very important role. Whether it can play a role in some of the other e-governance projects like public distribution system or, or Department of Fertilizer or various other things is a separate question. But I think they, uh, social media have a very, very important role in using viral marketing, in using group discussions to get a large number of citizens uh, engaged in the process of government and uh, communicating their thoughts and ideas to various government departments. So I think so far, even though uh, social media has not been used very extensively, the potential is huge. We are seeing all the, the revolutions taking place in the Arab world, right, in Libya and Egypt and all, and a large number of them were mainly because of social media and the viral marketing effect of these social media. And I think it is not just a two-way communication, but the group communication, the large number of people getting to know what discussions are going on, which achieves the entire uh, revolution and can uh, mobilize thousands and millions of people for a particular cause. So I think we will continue seeing more and more uh, social media getting used in various uh, citizen to government uh, interaction and therefore more and more governments will have to start uh, taking cognizance of this uh, fact and using it to their benefit in communicating effectively with large number of citizens in a much more open manner. Thank you very much.